Hi, I'm Ryan with the Insight Group at Allied Analytics, and I'm going to talk to you today about setting up an event tag for clicking on a button on your website. In this case, I've been asked to set up an event for this Let's Talk button that appears in the header of several pages of my site. Let's take a look at some of the markup that I'm going to need to deal with while I'm tagging for it. By right-clicking and clicking Inspect, an Elements window pops up on the right side of my screen. In this case, we can see that it's a link, but the button is separate from the link itself, and there's nothing in this that I can use to distinguish it from any other Let's Talk button that might appear on the rest of the page, such as down here. So let's take a look at ways we can distinguish that while setting up a tag for it. I'll go ahead and start off just by setting up a tag as I would normally would. Go to the Tags menu on the left, click New, and let's get started. I'll go ahead and call it the Let's Talk button tag, and set, up as a, set it up as a Universal Analytics tag. I have my GA tracking code in a variable, so I can just pull that in pretty easily. We'll set this up as an event. For the category, I'll go with Let's Talk button again. The action that the user is taking is a click, so I'll name it a click. And so that I can distinguish it from buttons across the site, I'll go ahead and use Page Path as the label. Now let's get to setting up a trigger for it. I'll name the trigger Let's Talk button as well. But I'll use camel case so I can distinguish the trigger names from my tag names. And I know it's a link, so I can start off there and choose just links. But obviously I don't want to choose every link. So first things first, I know it's always going to go to this URL, marketing data slash aggregation company slash contact. Let's go ahead and copy that. I'll paste that into click URL contains. I'll get rid of some of the stuff I don't need from the click URL just to make it a little cleaner. I know it's always going to be on allidanalytics.com. And like I said, how do I distinguish this from other Let's Talk buttons though, when button isn't in the same element that you're going to be clicking on? Well, I can go ahead and use something called a CSS selector. To set one of those up, first from the left here I choose click element. And then instead of contains, I'll choose matches CSS selector. Let's see what I've got to work with. I know it's a link. I know it's in this button class. And to go up a little further, I can see that the whole thing is occurring in the content, which is what we're using to denote the header section. So I'll set up a quick CSS selector, looking for, at the top level, the class of content. Within that, a class containing button, and the element itself at the final part is a link. I'll click save, save my tag as well, and turn on preview mode so you can make sure that what we've done works. I'll go back over to the website, hit refresh, And then I'm going to use a plugin I like to use for QAing called Data Slayer. And I'll click the button. And hey, we see that it pushed the event to GA. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check out some of our other videos.